Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Badik Project plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to uh, introduce a few updates that I've made to the project plugin, specifically to the um, estimating module. So, anyways, in order to do that, I first started here, just threw together a couple of little walls uh, with some windows and doors as to use as our sample. Um, just to show the framing, I've set the uh, gypsum to kind of a transparent color. And then, um, as you can see, I'm also I have the insulation uh, turned on as well, as well as blocking. Okay, so uh, let's jump into the uh, estimating module over here. And the first thing you're going to notice as we open that up is now there are actually two icons up here in the uh, upper right corner instead of one. So we have the cost database as before, and now we have the weight database. So now there are two separate databases for materials that you can track. Okay, so let's jump into the cost database first. Um, I've made a few updates here. For one, um, you can go in and, well, you'll notice here we have two headings. So I'm actually separating out the sections here, and this lower section is for windows currently. And of course, what I will end up doing is adding uh, windows, doors, and garage doors, but right now I just currently have the windows added. So yeah, that's a whole another thing that you can do, uh, calculate costs for. And you'll notice um, that with Windows, actually there are quite a few parameters. Um, in fact, there are six parameters uh, to specify a, a cost or a window. So what you need to know is the width, the height, the geometry, the type of window, the manufacturer, and the manufacturer series. Now the manufacturer and the manufacturer series, um, you know, you can set those to none as you can see here, if I set that to none, then both, that goes to none as well. But um, in this particular case, I uh, actually found this particular window um, that I'm interested in. Uh, I think it was on Home Depot, actually. I'll show you that. So I found uh, the 36 by 48 V2500 series picture window is $368. So I went ahead and entered that in here. Um, I'll go ahead and close that out without changing it. But... Um, but yeah, I mean, you can you can get as granular as you want as far as the manufacturer and the series and all that. Or you can just say, hey, a picture window, no manufacturer, no series, and we'll just assign a uh, kind of a generic cost to it. But yeah, actually, you know, I, I went in and um, uh, updated some of these costs. Um, you know, the default ones that I have right now set in the, uh, I think, in the, in the plugin as I send it out, it, it's... They're not probably not correct. Um, they're probably way too low, actually. But um, basically, as I <laughs> went on Home Depot, I started you know, pricing some of these things out, and I, I was quite surprised, actually. The, uh, the cost of lumber, for sure, has gone way up. But anyways, um, so yeah, um, the other things that I've added is uh, headers. So now you can uh, add headers, and that will track the cost of those. And uh, I think we also, let me just edit one of these again. There, it's headers. So you can see uh, with headers, um, you have different these different material types, and it is tracking the width, depth, length, and the material. So four parameters to track a header. And um, I thought we had a blocking, but maybe I haven't added that to the cost database yet. Okay, so anyways, um, so yeah, that's the updates to the cost database, uh, headers, and windows, and I will be adding doors and garage doors shortly. And so let's go ahead now and jump over to the weight database. Okay, so the weight database is slightly different, a little more simple. Um, and right off the bat, um, I'll tell you that the, the densities that I've added in here, um, at least for the imperial values, are pretty, pretty close. The lumber may be a little heavy, um, but I'd rather be a little heavy than a little light, I guess. So... Anyways, um, I've gone ahead and, and you know, you can obviously delete all these and add all your own in, but uh, I pretty much added it in uh, the densities into the weight database for most of your typical uh, construction materials. So, you know, your lumber, your pressure treated lumber, your OSB, some of your hardy plank siding, and of course your insulation. Okay, um, let's go ahead and edit one of these real quick and I kind of show you what that's like. So if we go to the header, or let's actually go to right at the top here. Um, so yeah, we've got the type and you can see you can set the type, stud, plate, header, sheathing, cladding, gypsum, insulation, 
and also custom. So with custom, um, what what it happens is is I mean with these all these other ones you kind of have some preset items, but with custom, if you go ahead and add a custom material, it will actually pull all of the custom materials from the custom library. And notice this looks like the material is coming out of the custom library because it is. And so then you can go ahead and set those up in here as well. So just to show you that. Okay, so let's go ahead and run a wall real quick just to demonstrate this. Um, and again, you know, my my cost database, uh, you know, it's it's fairly accurate. I mean, it, I, I haven't, you know, spent a lot of time making sure it's right exactly where I want it. I mean, and also too with costs, a person can also add, you know, a little fudge factor in there, like a 5% waste factor or something if you want. But um, but yeah, okay, so to go ahead and run these two walls, we'll go ahead and do them both. Just hit select all. If you don't want to select all, you can always just click one or two or both, however you want to do it. Hit the control key and then you can select both. And you'll notice here that the wall panel selected will show two. All right, let's go ahead and run both cost and weight analysis. And then um, let's go ahead and hit calculate. And that's it. And then right here at the bottom, underneath the wall data. Now this is giving the total cost and the total weight for both walls. Okay, so it's not breaking it out. It's just giving you total of everything. So you see there you got your costs and there you've got your weight in pounds. All right, and then if you want, you can go ahead and save the CSV. And I'm going to go ahead and save this to CSV5. And let's go ahead. Okay, and then um, I've gone ahead and actually pre-formatted this CSV file because I wanted to make it a little easier to read here in the presentation. But here's your typical output. Okay, so as, as before, you know, you've got each wall and then under the wall information, you've got the window and the door or any other garage doors per wall. And then it goes to the next wall. And then it'll give you, notice we have another window on that wall. Um, so a couple things that have been added here. Um, <clears throat> first of all, you'll notice that I had blocking enabled. And now it is, um, it's calculating the blocking, right? So that wasn't there before. Um, the other thing is that if you go down to the, um, let's see here, there's quite a few things going on. I think we already had headers before, um, but we did not have header headers in the totals. Um, so that's something new. So we'll get to that here in a second. But oh, the other thing I wanted to show you also was that under each window, you'll notice, you know, you start with all the parameters but I've added this extra line right here. And this extra line will show you the installed style, the manufacturer, if any, and the serial series, if any. Okay, so, and then if you go down to this next wall, you'll notice that that same, so basically that's, you know, that particular window, that's all the data for that window. And it now has the installed style showing up. Okay, so now if we jump down to the wall total section and the wall weight section, so this whole section is all brand new okay so that wasn't there before now you again you can cl unclick that checkbox and it'll just give you the wall totals and it'll, or or vice versa just the wall weights and not the totals so you know you can kind of pick and choose what you want or you can do both um let's take a look at this wall totals now so i kind of added a little shading here and bolding and whatever on the text just so we can take a look at this a little better um <clears throat> so if you go down here to the window section which will be at the bottom under the totals. Um, you'll notice that uh, we've got you know, the style, the manufacturer series, everything. So if, if for instance, um, that cost, um, notice this cost name here is window one. Now that window one is set up with these six parameters. So if those six param, well, six, uh, seven, they're actually selected. Um, not, don't include the quantity, but it, it is looking at all six of these parameters, and if they match, then it will say, hey, that's window type cost one, and it will assign that uh, price tag. Yeah, it's a pretty pricey window unit. So anyways, um, so yeah, basically it can give, add that into the total cost estimate, unlike before. And I think we added in the headers now. I'm, I'm not sure. If, yeah, I think that's new. And also the blocking is new. Um, now let's go down here to the weight section. So the weights, um, I have actually not added windows and doors in yet into the wall weights. Um, 
I'm still debating on how exactly I'm going to do that um, because generally speaking, I don't know if it's even necessary because usually they kind of get added after the fact. But then again, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but basically, windows and doors are not part of the well, well weight section. Basically, we're just talking about the studs, the headers, the plates, uh, the blocking, sheathing, cladding, gypsum, and the insulation. And it's kind of interesting here, actually. You know, you notice this insulation um, calculates, of course, the thickness and the, the square feet of uh, what's there. And then given that it's pink uh, fiberglass, I've got a density of one pound per cubic foot, which, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot. And maybe that's even heavy. I don't know. But anyway, it's 87 pounds total in those two walls. So that's actually quite a bit of insulation. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And then... Uh, if you were to go up here, you'll notice that, uh, you know, same amount of insulation, it's projecting a cost of $266 based on the 1.4 so of the uh, cost of the insulation per square foot. So anyways, I, I based that, of course, off this. Uh, I just happened to hop on Home Depot here. And yeah, insulation is pretty expensive. It's about 1.39 per square foot. And... Uh, so you probably need about three of these uh, big bundles or bags to uh, do the insulation on that those two walls. Anyways, um, but yeah, it's it's kind of nice because once you, I mean, it's a little bit of work to to basically load up these um, uh, these two databases essentially. And um, unfortunately, you know, I mean, there's really no way around that. You just got to get in there and and do that but I, I think with this one it's pretty much got all of the uh, correct values already in uh, for default you know lumber and, and OSB and all that stuff so I don't think that one's too much of a worry but of course the cost database that one's going to be the one that's going to require more work for the user because they're going to have to figure out you know get online get on Home Depot or wherever they're purchasing their uh, materials from and kind of figure out okay how many you know what's the price per lineal foot or or per um, uh, quantity or per square foot and all that and then once they kind of get that in then from there it's pretty much a breeze so anyways i hope this is helpful i hope um you know the uh the new weight and cost database it will be helpful to people estimating their projects i there's still of course a lot more to do uh one thing i i just realized as i was working on this is that um, I'm not actually calculating the weight per wall panel. I mean, you could do that simply by just selecting one wall panel and then, you know, for instance, let's go ahead and clear all. Let's just select that wall panel and then calculate. Okay, so now you can see, you know, we've got about half the cost. Well, a little more, but um, but yeah, I mean, and then you can outport, output that to CSV. But, you know, if you've got a bunch of walls, you don't have to sit there and do every single wall separately. So I will need to add in um, some more code uh, to break out per wall and uh, add in, of course, doors and garage doors and, and a few other things. So there's always more to do on this, but um, hopefully we can uh, keep, keep going and uh, get all this knocked out. So... Anyways, um, I appreciate all you guys' feedback, and I appreciate the comments and suggestions because, honestly, about 90% of the plugins anymore is uh, customer-driven. So thank you again, and um, we will talk to you guys next time.